so yesterday we learnt how to balance chemical equations right but one error was cited out in this equation all right so let's rebalance it i have watched the video again and saw exactly where i have made mistake okay yeah if you were sitting in front of me when i was teaching all right that error could have been rectified the same time anyway chalo let's say a molecules of lead nitrate when heated produces b molecule of lead oxide correct c molecules of nitrogen dioxide and d molecules of oxygen all right now you know what we do here correct see here yeah lead first we'll start with lead eb all right lead let's see what is subscript 1 into a a so left hand side only one is uh, one into a a atoms of lead right hand side you will find lead in only one formula and that is pbo yeah one the subscript is one one into b b so there are b atoms of lead on right hand side so a equal to b all right next nitrogen nitrogen atoms let's see here the subscript is one one into outer subscript two one two za two and two into number of molecules two a so there are two a atoms of nitrogen on left hand side on left hand side there is just one formula okay right hand side yeah just in one formula there is nitrogen one is subscript one into c c so there are c atoms of nitrogen on right hand side all right then you have oxygen yes subscript inner subscript outer subscript 3 to the 6 6 into a 6a there are 6a atoms of oxygen on left hand side now here i made mistake i think i missed out this i said there are atoms of oxygen in just two compounds ya yeah, in two substances see this 1 into b b here also there is oxygen 2 into c 2c and here also oxygen 2 into d 2d so in all on right hand side b plus 2c plus 2d atoms of oxygen are there i didn't write this i think b plus 2d that's what i have written all right children fine now you know what you have to do i'm going to make slight change in the method i'm still making it easier all right you should know that method as well how we get it here it is little bit not understandable all right so why we are getting those anyway which is the simplest equation out of the three yeah a equal to b a equal to b now do you remember i used to say let a equal to k then b or any one we used to say k or we used to represent in the ratio form and then say 2k 3k forget k now i am going to pick up the simplest ratio or simplest equation which is a equal to b i am going to call any one as one let a is equal to 1 so in the first equation if you put a is equal to 1 then you will get b equal to 1 correct both are same so a equal to 1 b equal to 1 all right put the value here a is equal to 1 so 2 into 1 is equal to c my god you got c is equal to 2 mil gaya all right now yes d is missing we got a b and c d is not there so to find d we will use the fourth equation yeah 6 into a that is 6 into 1 is equal to b that is 1 plus 2c that is 2 into 2 plus 2d what does that give us 6 is equal to 1 plus 4 5 plus 2d so 1 is equal to 2d so d is equal to 1 upon 2 so you got d also 1 upon 2 
Now if you write here, children, if you write here, what is A? Y. What is B? Y. What is C? 2. What is D? Half. Alright? Did you get that? Please pay attention. Please pay attention. Now, our problem is, this equation, it is balanced equation, no doubt about that. But it looks ugly because of this fraction. Half molecule of oxygen. In molecule, there is, there are two atoms. So half molecule will be one. But if only one single atom is there, how will you make it half? So you never take this molecules in fractional forms. It has to be in integral, integral form, positive integral. So what to do then? Very simple to do. I write those numbers in order. A, B, C, D. A ke niche, A ki value. I write in rational number form. So 1 upon 1. Because D is half. This is 2. This is 1. Because this is in fractional form, I will represent all others in fractional form. Alright? I want 1 in the denominator of prevail. I don't want this 2. So... Take LCM of all the numbers that are in denominator. 1, 1, 1 and 2. What is the LCM of all those four numbers? Yeah, 2. So whatever LCM you got, you got LCM 2. Well, multiply denominator, sorry, sorry, sorry. Multiply numerators with 2. Whatever LCM you are getting, multiply the numerators by 2. So what happened? A2 is gone. Gaya ke nahi gaya. Can you see that? Now in the two ones. In the denominator it is 1, 1, 1, 1. So now what is the value of A? 1, 2 is 2. So A is 2. What is the value of B? 1, 2 is 2. So that is 2. What is the value of C? 2, 2 is 4. That is 4. Alright. And what is the value of uh, D? D is only 1, 1. So 1, no need to write 1. That is understood. So now this is a proper balanced chemical equation. One more I am going to show you, okay? Now let's see two more. I will erase this now. So now we are going to forget the K method. Alright? Fine. Here. A molecules of NH3 combines with B molecule of O2 to produce C molecule of Na and D molecule of water. Okay. Nitrogen, that is the first one. 1 into A, A. Nitrogen is in only one formula of reactants. Product may be A ki jaga pe. 1 into C. So A equal to C. Then hydrogen, 3 into A, 3A. Okay, there is no hydrogen here. There is hydrogen here in the product. 2 into D, 2D. Got it? Then oxygen, the third element. 2 into B, 2B is equal to. Here oxygen is present in two products, two substances. 1 into C, C plus. 1 into D, D. Alright, we pick up the simplest equation. Yeah, and that is A equal to C. Is A variable ko 1 kato? Let me say A is equal to 1. Then C is also 1 because they are equal. Are you getting me? First you pick up the simplest equation and any one variable you call that is equal to 1. Chari. Yeah, now you can put the value of A. 3 into A that is 1 is equal to 2D. So 3 upon 2 is equal to D. Alright, D is 3 upon 2. Fraction aya. Don't worry. Chali. Now this, 2B. B is not known. Is equal to C. C is 1. Plus D. That is 3 by 2. My God. Okay. Don't worry. 1 upon 1. So 2B is equal to LCM of 1 and 2. 2. 1, 2 is 2, 1 is 2 into 1, 2. Plus 1 into 3, 3. So... 2B is equal to 5 upon 2. Take 2 on other side. So B is equal to 5 upon 4. 
so I got B is equal to phi upon O. Got the values of all A, B, C, D. Are they all integral values? क्या वो सभी integers हैं? Are they integers? No. So let me write A, B, C, D in order. Below A, the value of A one. Below B, here it is, the value of B. Below C, here it is, one. And below D, three upon two. All are not integers. So I'll express in fractional form upon one. Now look at the denominators. One, four, two, one. I don't want those denominators. They should exist as one. So let's find out LCM. What is LCM of four and two? It is four. So multiply. LCM is four, children. Two, one, four, or one ka LCM of four. So multiply numerators by four. Isko jana hai. Gone. A B jayega, 2 1s are 2 2s are that's why we take LCM. So now you got the value of A. What is value of A? 1 4s are 4. So A is 4. You got value of B. It's 5. So B is 5. You got value of C. It is product of 1 and 4. So that is 4. You got value of D. It is product of 3 and 2. And that is 6. Now this is a balanced chemical equation. Is that clear to your children? You may copy this, take screenshot or you may pause and write down in your notebook third, fourth, fifth and sixth. You have to balance them. So we saw three methods. One, trial and error method. Yeah, trial and heat method. Second, well, table method. We prepare table. That I have not shown to you actually. Uh, sometimes it is very difficult. And I shall call this method as ABCD method. We shall call it as ABCD method. Alright. First is trial and error method. Second is table method. Table method I have done for this. Trial and error method. Table method. If you remember left hand side, right hand side elements that table. That method is also okay. First you try trial and error method. Then if you are not getting, then you use this ABCD method. I think it is the best method. The reason, trial and error method, you are trying, then you get error. So next time you are trying, again you may get error. Third time, so it is very time consuming. But at most times, your equations are so simple that you can balance them by using trial and error method. So please start with trial and error method. Okay? And if you are not getting, if you feel it's going to consume a lot of time, then go for this ABCD method. Alright? Do you know children? Your first chapter of chemistry, actually speaking, starts now. Alright? So all these days, whatever we have done in chemistry was just refreshing. Or it was just pre-preparation. Alright? For studying chemistry in 10th standard. So I hope it will prove very much fruitful to you. Okay. I hope this chapter will be going on now very easy. It will be easy going for you now. Let's check out. Okay, children. We see so many changes taking place in our surrounding. All right. Some are physical change and some are chemical change. I've noted down few changes in our surroundings. Let's find out which are physical and which are chemical. See, common observations. Ripening of mango. Why just talk about the ripening of mango? Yeah. There are other fruits also. Every fruit ripen. And what happens when the fruit ripen? Two major changes you see in them. The change in color. Correct? Mango, the green color turns into yellow, yeah, reddish color. Okay? Even inside the pulp from white it turns into greenish white to it turns into red or yellow. Correct? So this change that comes, is it a physical change or chemical change? You are right. It's chemical change because new substance is formed. The color has changed and the taste also changes. How this change takes place? 
some chemical reaction takes place due to which the color changes due to which the sour taste of mango turns into sweet taste all right so that's a chemical change i'll write here c for chemical change burning of fuel lpg gas cng gas petrol diesel kerosene any fuel even wood so when you burn the wood what happens is it a physical change or chemical change yes when you burn fuel it, uh, when you burn fuel it turns into water vapor and carbon dioxide and heat is released heat is released so a new substance is formed the carbon dioxide is new substance water in the form of gaseous form all right it's a new substance and heat is produced so it's also a chemical change formation of ice of course from water when you put uh, water in a tray and uh, put in the refrigerator deep freezer it turns into ice what change has new substance formed there children no new substance is formed only water turned from liquid state to solid state still the molecules are h2o whether it is in liquid state or in solid state so it is a physical change no new substance is formed rusting of iron you must have observed your window grills if some part of door is made up of iron or there are furnitures made up of iron this way uh, furniture made from metal are good in, means they are in demand they are popular fine so you must have seen rusting of iron right okay is it a chemical change or physical change here when iron combines with moist air all right what happens new substance is formed so when new substance is formed some chemical reaction has taken place so it's a chemical change cooking of food is it chemical change or physical change does the taste change does the color change all right yes the hard substance may become soft anyway since new substance is formed the taste is different some chemical reaction has taken place when you cook food so it's a chemical change boiling of water water is a liquid state when you boil it turns into vapor and rises up so is it physical change or chemical change children here no new substance is formed that gas is still water but only the state turns from liquid to gas so it's a physical change right burning of paper when you burn paper all right it turns into ash right and that ash is totally different uh, from paper so new substance is formed so some chemical reaction has taken place so it's a chemical change tearing of paper tear the paper into pieces now each paper retains its own property no new substance is formed properties are not changed so it's a physical property turning a piece of iron into powder you can grind iron into powder of course you need a special machine to do that anyway but you can do that take a piece of iron let's take nail and powder it is it a physical change or chemical change is new substance formed the powdered iron is it new substance no it is same the property it retains the property of iron so no chemical reaction has taken place only physically it has changed so it is now i am talking about forget about the physical changes the chemical changes involve chemical reactions chemical changes involve chemical reactions so now what is chemical reaction let's see. chemical reaction what is chemical reaction yes it's a process where existing substance combine and turns into new substance or substances are you getting me it's a process remember the keyword chemical reaction is process wo ek process hai which process 
ओरिजिनल सब्सटेंसेस कंबाइन टू फॉर्म और रिएक्ट टू फॉर्म न्यू सब्सटेंस ऑल राइट हाउ दैट हैपेंस एक्चुअली द एग्जिस्टिंग बॉन्ड्स इन द सब्सटेंसेस ब्रेक एंड न्यू बॉन्ड्स आर फॉर्म इन द न्यू सब्सटेंस गिविंग न्यू प्रॉपर्टीज टू दैट न्यू सब्सटेंस एंड द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ कंस्टिट्यूएंट्स आर डिस्ट्रॉयड आर यू गेटिंग मी so what is chemical reaction you can say the process in which old bonds or you can say existing bonds either old bonds ya existing bonds break and new bonds bond or bonds all right bond or bonds new bond or bonds are formed uska matlab kya hua i e new substance or substances with new properties properties is or are formed is called or is known as chemical reaction all right children very simple let's take examples hydrogen and oxygen hydrogen and oxygen they combine so i'm putting plus sign between them and i put arrow to show what new substance they give they give water this is chemical reaction and uh, we say this is written in word form all right chemical equation is this is equation where you have plus arrow sign it is equation but this is word form equation word form equation chemical equation word form i'm going to transform it into symbolic form yeah you know the symbol of hydrogen is h and the formula is h you know the symbol of oxygen is o but the formula is o arrow you know the symbol yeah formula you know very popular formula h to o children very important to write the state this hydrogen it is in gaseous state so subscript ke bachu mein bracket mein small g indicates this substance is in gaseous state when it is reacting this substance is also in gaseous state and when we get water it is in liquid state very important to write in the equation please all right okay now this arrow can you see the arrow to its left hand side we have two substances which are called reactants the substances which take part in the reactions are called reactants all right and the substances which are produced which are written on right hand side they are called products the one product is formed all right substances taking part in the chemical reaction are called reactants substances produced during a chemical reaction or at the end of the chemical reaction are called products reactants are written on the left hand side of the arrow and product yeah products if two products are formed they are written on the right hand side now one thing that i am not going to do here is balancing of equation i'll see and write directly all right yes you can put two here so two o and four there now this is a balanced chemical equation i used trial and error method it was easy so i didn't go for abcd method is that clear all right so understood what are reactants what are products if you have to define reactants what you will say the substance the chemical substances taking part in the reaction chemical reaction are known as reactants in this example hydrogen and oxygen are reactants what is the definition of product a subs a new substance that forms during the chemical reaction is known as product athwa are known as products in this uh, example water is the product you can take more examples but not required all right so understood children what is chemical reaction 
how you express it symbolically. When you express it symbolically, initially you will get skeletal equation. Then after balancing, you get balanced chemical equation. And if you write even the state, G, L, G for gas, L for liquid, S for solid, and AQ for aqueous, that means that substance is dissolved in water, or solution form may. When substance is taken in solution form, we write AQ, aqueous. We'll see that. Okay, fine. Have you followed? Now, we shall see the characteristics of chemical reactions. How do you know chemical reactions have taken place? Or chemical reaction has taken place? Aapko pata kaise chalega? Aisa koi indicator hai? which tells you okay, here the reaction is chemical characteristics of chemi chemical reaction very simple children the first effect is change in state change in state say suppose some process has taken place in which the two substances combine and new substance was formed. The new substance had this. The state of the new substance was different from the state of the substances that those which took part in the reaction. So state can change. All right. See, in chemical reaction, state may change. But if state changes, it involves chemical reaction. That you cannot say always. See that water which is in liquid state, if you put in the refrigerator, all right, it turns into solid. So your liquid turned into solid. So it is a chemical reaction. No. Here it is only physical reaction because newly formed substance has same property as water. It's water only. All right. Fine. The best example is of hydrogen combining with water to give H2O. Now this is gas. This is gas. This newly substance formed is liquid. So here, yeah, and this substance has property altogether different from hydrogen and oxygen. So chemical reaction has taken place. And in chemical reaction, you can see the change in the state of substance. So that is the first characteristic. So if chemical reaction is occurring, you might see one of these characteristics. You might see the state has changed. All right. But if state has changed, you cannot always say, that chemical reaction is involved. If chemical reaction is involved, you may have one of the characteristic as change in its state. Second characteristic. Let's see. Can I write it down? Yes. Second. Change in color. Change in color. All right. Change in color. We'll take example of citric acid. Reacting with potassium permanganate and it gives permagnic acid. All right, fine children. Citric acid is lemon juice, organic acid. Potassium permanganate, you get crystals of potassium permanganate as good as whole salt not powdered salt common salt that we use in the kitchen nowadays we use powdered salt only those whole grains of salt we do not use but you may have seen you get it in the market all right so that common salt are white crystals they are white pieces of uh, uh, salt potassium permanganate they are purple colored so when you add potassium permanganate it dissolves in water when you add to water it dissolves and the water becomes purple in color. The water becomes purple in color. <coughs> but when this citric acid reacts with potassium permanganate, this purple color disappears and the newly formed substance becomes colorless. So you can see the change in color is involved in some chemical reaction. See, I said change in state. That doesn't mean in all chemical reaction, the state will change.
change in color. That doesn't mean in all chemical reactions the color will change. That's why if color changes, we, we cannot say always chemical reaction is involved. If state changes, we cannot say always chemical reaction is involved. But if chemical reaction is taking place, we can expect the change in state. We can also expect the change in color. But every time that state may not change or color may not change. So we have seen two characteristics of chemical reaction. First, change in the state of substance. Second, change in the color. See the tomatoes, green, how they turn red. That change in color you can see. Some chemical reaction is taking place. All right. So that is example of chemical reaction. That is the characteristic of chemical reaction. All right. We move to the third one. Third characteristic, and that is evolution of gas. Evolution of gas. Once again, let me tell you, if gas is evolved, it doesn't mean a chemical reaction is taking place. Actually speaking, most time if gas is evolved, chemical reaction is involved. All right? Uh, anyway. Fine. Example, we'll take one metal, magnesium, an acid. Hydrogen chloride. Children, here the ionization takes place. Acid, acid H plus 1, chloride, Cl minus 1. Now this is metal, electropositive element, Mg plus 2. Compound nahi hai split hoga. During the reaction, what happens? This bond is going to break between hydrogen and chlorine and it will give you hydrogen ion and chloride ion, not chlorine ion. And magnesium will give magnesium ion by losing two electrons. And this bond will be formed, MgCl2, MgCl2. And this forms hydrogen gas, but its formula is H2. Here it is, this is hydrogen, gas is formed. I put upward arrow to show that is gas. So during chemical reaction, gas can be evolved. Are you getting me? All right. So if chemical reaction is taking place, you cannot, you can expect change in color. You can expect a change in the state and you can expect evolution of gas. But it doesn't mean that if chemical reaction is taking place, gas would be evolved only. Yeah. Two, may, two things also may happen. Yeah, gas is evolved and color also changed. All three may be involved. State changed, color changed and gas is also evolved. So these are the three characteristics of chemical reactions. There are two more. Fourth characteristic. Change in temperature change in temperature all right change in temperature calcium oxide so it's a quick line we get here calcium oxide when dissolved in water it produces calcium carbonate when calcium oxide is dissolved in water sorry it produces calcium hydroxide and lot of heat is evolved lot of heat is evolved all right not like atom bomb okay calcium oxide when dissolved see metal oxide when dissolved in water produces hydroxide recall that yaad karo metal oxide when dissolved in water produces metal hydroxide non metal oxide when dissolved in water produces acid all right but here heat is evolved when heat is evolved temperature increases or decreases correct Temperature will increase if heat is evolved. Temperature of the system will increase. So here temperature has increased. Is that clear to you? So this is an example of chemical reaction in which temperature has risen. When heat is evolved, this reaction is called exothermic reaction. This reaction is called exothermic reaction. Okay? Children, do you know what is this quick line? Chuna. चूना पानी वाइट वॉश करने के लिए जो चूना लगाते हैं ना पानी में डाल के ऑलराइट दैट इज क्विक लाइक 
उसको पानी में डाला फिर उसको टच करो दैट कंटेनर बिकम्स हॉट क्यों बिकॉज हिट इज प्रोड्यूस जो चुना वाला पानी है वो शुरुआत में आपको बहुत गर्म लगेगा बिकॉज द हिट इज इवॉल्व आर यू गेटिंग मी अच्छा आई गिव यू अनदर एग्जाम्पल लेट्स टेक ग्लूकॉन डी ग्लूकॉन डी put it on on your tongue so on tongue you have got saliva which is water only let's say saliva all right and whatever reaction takes place you will cool and now take little uh, glucon d put it on your tongue and you will cool on that part which part where the reaction between saliva and glucon d takes place here what has happened why you will cool because heat is absorbed heat is absorbed now if heat is absorbed the temperature of the system goes down so that's why we feel cool this type of reaction is called endo endothermic reaction endothermic reaction all right exo means out exo means out बाहर निकला क्या बाहर निकला हिट एंडो मींस इन अंदर ले लिया हिट को एब्सॉर्ब कर लिया इज दैट क्लियर टू यू ओके फाइन सो हाउ मेनी प्रॉपर्टीज वी हैव सीन नाउ फर्स्ट चेंज इन स्टेट सेकंड चेंज इन कलर थर्ड इवोल्यूशन ऑफ गैस एंड फोर्थ द चेंज इन टेंपरेचर नाउ फिफ्थ एंड द लास्ट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ केमिकल रिएक्शन ऑलराइट चिल्ड्रन सो वी हैव सीन properties of chemical reaction now we are going to see types of chemical reaction there are five types of chemical reaction number 1 combination reaction number 2 decomposition reaction number 3 displacement reaction also called single displacement reaction number 4 double displacement reaction and number 5 redox reaction डिस्प्लेसमेंट एंड डबल डिस्प्लेसमेंट आप एक ही समझ सकते हैं डिस्प्लेसमेंट रिएक्शन बट दैट विल डिस्कस लेटर इन दिस सेशन विल बी एबल टू डू ओनली टू टाइप्स ऑफ केमिकल रिएक्शन वन इज कॉम्बिनेशन एंड अदर इज डिकम्पोजिशन और राइट नेक्स्ट थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ केमिकल रिएक्शन विल सी इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन नाउ द वर्ड इट सेल्फ सजेस्ट वॉट दिस रिएक्शन आर कॉम्बिनेशन मीन्स द कंबाइन the two smaller substances combine and form one larger and decomposition exactly the reverse of combination decompose means breaks see children dead remains of plants and animals those microbes attack it decompose it what they do usko sab alag alag kar dete hain notch dete hain all right the whole body all right is divided into small parts and suddenly everything disappears so big part is broken into smaller and smaller part that is decomposition all right both the chemical processes are reverse processes all right first let us see combination suppose this is a see what happens a combines with b and forms ab a plus b combine and give you ab a is one substance b is other substance both are two small substance both combine combine and form new substance ab which is larger one all right here it is exactly the converse here ulta hai a b is decomposed all right i will use different color theek hai ab is decomposed ab is just one substance big substance is decomposed to form two smaller substance a and b all right let's see the examples hydrogen combines with oxygen to produce water see the two substances combine and produce water this is word equation 
equation written in the form of words. Let's write its skeletal equation. H symbol is H and H2 is the formula. Symbol of oxygen is O and O2 is the formula. Very popular formula H2O. Alright. Hydrogen is in gaseous state so we write small g. Oxygen is in gaseous state and water is in liquid state. Now if you balance the equation, well you can do so. 2 here and 2 here. Now this is a balanced chemical equation. Alright. See, this are reactants. Reactants as we have seen. And this is product. So one thing you notice children. In combination reaction, reactants are two or sometimes even more. But the product is only one. So all the reactants, two, three, or four, they will combine and form one product. Let's see the other side. That is decomposition. So the whole process is reversed. H2O gives you H2 plus O2. Children, here you have to find electric current. Both the conditions would be different. To combine hydrogen with oxygen. Alright? You will have to burn hydrogen. That means heat is to be given here. Alright? And here electric current is given. So conditions are different. Alright? But water will decompose into hydrogen and oxygen when electric current is passed through water. Don't try to do that at home, please. There is special apparatus or device to do that. You will get electric shock and it is hazardous. Alright. Fine. Sometimes it can prove fatal. Fine. This, because electric current is used, this process is also called electrolysis. So water, uska electrolysis karoge, so you will get hydrogen and you will get oxygen. Your word equation, a skeletal equation, if you balance it, you get a balanced chemical equation. Ye liquid tha, ye gas mila or oxygen bhi gas is formed. Alright? So here, reactant is single. Reactant, ya product, one tha, single. Ya reactant is one. And one breaks into smaller parts. So products are small. Alright? Products are two or even sometimes it can be more than two. Clear to you? Next example. In the next example, let's take carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide. Let's, well, let's treat it with oxygen. Plus oxygen gives carbon dioxide. You know the formula CO2. Carbon monoxide, gas hai. Oxygen, gas hai. Carbon dioxide, that is also gas. Alright? So, here, no change in the state. Alright? Balancing O2, O2. And here, 3 hai. So, if I make 2, 2, now this is balanced chemical equation. So, you can see, reactants are 2 in number. They combine and form one product. Exactly the converse. Carbon dioxide gas under appropriate conditions give carbon monoxide and oxygen gas. Alright? Now this is decomposition. Here the reactant is one and products are two. So smaller molecules are got. Clear to you? Next example. Let's see. Silver chloride, AgCl. Alright. Silver and chlorine combines to form silver chloride. Silver and chlorine combines to form silver chloride. Let's take two examples together. Sodium plus chlorine combines to give NaCl. I'm not writing the state and all that. You just see here two things combine and form one larger molecule. Here two things combine and form one. Exactly the converse here. AgCl gives Ag plus Cl. Same way. 
NaCl gives Na plus Cl. But in different conditions, huh, children. So here, yeah, this is example of decomposition reaction. All right. Okay. Children, uh, some decomposition reaction. As for example, digestion. When digestion takes place in our body. All right. We have carbohydrate. It decomposes into sugar, different types of sugars, different types of sugars like glucose plus fructose. So larger molecule is converted into smaller molecules. All right. So this is decomposition. So digestion of food in our body, carbohydrates digest, even protein digest. Proteins are converted into amino acids. Let's say amino acid 1, amino acid 2, amino acid 3. All right. So bigger molecule is broken down into smaller molecules. So digestion is an example of decomposition reaction. So children, today we end up our session here. In the next session, we'll continue with the third type of chemical reaction, which is um, displacement, single, fourth, double displacement, and fifth, redox. Till then, bye-bye.